It's a good day and welcome back to our channel Nick and Helmy from the comfort of my car. Today we are actually going to be taking you to a couple, actually just two, <laughs> places that we kind of love for breakfast, for Asian breakfast specifically. Because we all know Western breakfast, you know, your you know, big breakfast, sausage and egg, but Asian breakfast has variety. And something that I really, really miss from my visit to Asia. It's been a while since we traveled to Asia. Don't know when we can travel, but meanwhile, we're gonna show you something you can eat here in Sydney, Australia. So the first spot actually is not too far from where we live. It's in Merrickville. Let's go. I'm actually parking. <laughs> so this first spot is called Kurumak and it's actually in Merrickville. A uh, little nice spot, very comfy, and it's a nice sunny day today actually. And if you notice that Australia is one of the countries that you can really see blue sky with no clouds. It's amazing. We're gonna be ordering a Japanese breakfast, but this place is kind of more like fusion, so it's not your kind of traditional and classical kind of Japanese dish. The menu has two options, one from 7 o'clock in the morning, which is kind of like the breakfast option, and then at 11 o'clock, you'll switch into the lunch menu, which is more the heavier stuff. We're gonna get something light today, because the theme of today's episode is Asian breakfast. So we're gonna start off with pickled mustard, codro omelette rice, tonjiro pork, and some soup as well. And I'm gonna go with something more, I guess, traditional and classic, sort of. So it's a mixed vegetable tempura with green tea and soba noodle. But of course, in Australia, the one thing about Australian cafe is that we've got coffee and good ones. Too. So in normal Asian breakfast, you normally get the rice or noodles. That's why we actually order both. Now I actually got myself rice with some kodro omelette and also some tonjiru soup. So ton is pork, jiru I think means soup. That's why it's like it's actually like miso but with some shredded pork. Look at that. Okay, which one to try first? Uh, wow, look at that. It looks super fluffy omelette. And what's inside? Ooh. So you got the pickle master, the cod roll over there, inside the omelette with some rice. As suspected, this omelette is like super fluffy, it's so nice, and it's kind of sweet. Now, you got this roll, which is quite savory, and also pickle mustard. So it gives you like balance of flavor. Then on top of that, you got rice as well. It's very like heartwarming breakfast. Now, let's try the soup. So as you can see, like the consistency is like miso soup, but normally miso doesn't have any meat. But this one have like pork, that's why it's called ton, which is pork. And then have some carrot, some pumpkin, and green onion. Oh, let's try this. So it's exactly like miso, but it's like level up miso because of that pork flavor. It's like super sweet and you got some green onion which is like very refreshing and this is like complement well. Normally you can have this as lunch as well, but you know, for us, breakfast, rice for breakfast, excellent. Up next is my dish right here, uh, green tea soba, look at that filled with some sesame seeds, some seaweed there, and just that green tea soba. Accompanying that is this vegetable tempura. You've got some of that sweet potato there, eggplant, and then finally you got some of the mushroom. Just pure, simple, I guess vegetarian dish. I need to lose weight, so, <laughs> you know, I'm going it easy right now. What's that? It's chili. It's just some chili powder here. I always like to put some of the chili powder Get up that green tea soba soup there. Mm. It's just something addictive about tempura. That crunch is so addictive, right? And you got that little bit of that nice, kind of savory flavor, but having a little bit of that chili powder, wow. Just create that texture and flavor. And also love how soft that mushroom is. It's actually really nice. Now we're gonna go and try a little bit of that 
green tea soda. That noodle right there is just perfect. It's not too soft, not too hard. A little bit like al dente, isn't it? Right, Helmi? Mm -hmm. Try it. Mm. What do you think? Um, yeah, it's not too soft, it's not too hard as well. Al dente. So broth like this is actually very light, which is perfect for a kind of breakfast, because you don't want to have heavy stuff for breakfast. Let's try the soup here. Oh, that is like that warm, nice warmness that usually your mom's cooking gets you. That's kind of like that. It has that nice and perfect balance of saltiness as well. Just the flavors right there. And then with the noodle, every bite you actually get that broth sipping through that noodle, which is perfect. What happens when you eat bad noodles is that the flavor of the soup doesn't really sip into the noodle, but this one does. So even if you eat the noodle by itself, you can really feel that green tea kind of flavor there. Everything inside is very simple. Seaweed, sesame seed, a bit of a green onion, chopped green onions there. and It's just beautiful, but very, very light. And then you've got that contrasting factor, which is the tempura right here. Dip that in a little bit and just take a bite. So this menu only up to like 11. After 11, you can have like heavier stuff, for example, oxtang, curry, what else? Bento, and we've tried this cafe many times. This is actually our maybe third or fourth time, so highly recommended. And they change the menu like every month, I think. So every time you come here, it's something new. Second place. You see this, guys? You see what, what? Helmi is wearing? Look at that sandal. <laughs> I told her before she comes out today that that looks like slippers for home. Well, I mean, this is Peter Alexander, which is actually slippers, but you can definitely wear it outside, right? It's super <laughs> comfy too. Sure, sure. Let's go. The second cafe is actually one of our favorite. We show it before, but only few shots. That's why we come back here to show you the goodness of the food. We are currently at Cafe Ruma, which is like Malaysian and Singaporean breakfast. Now I order the Kopi Tiam Breki, which is like the kaya toast with some half boiled egg. And Nick ordered the Ramli burger, which is very famous in Malaysia. What is it, Nick? I'm trying to call my friend Puri from Malaysia. I don't think it's big enough though. <laughs> What's so good about Ramli Burger? What's so good about Ramli Burger? Yeah. Everything. <laughs> I would say the best part is the sogginess, the eggs, the sauce, everything. Okay, so here's the Ramly burger. On top, you've got the very, very soft bun. Underneath, you got the cucumber, the tomato glaze with that sweet chili sauce and some mayo. But the hidden gem is inside right here. It's actually inside that omelet egg. There is a beef, beef, chopped beef and brisket that's mixed together with some marinated seasoning. I think usually in Malaysia, they use Maggi seasoning. They're very classic. Which is? MSG. Yes, pretty much MSG. So this is just a burger of goodness here. Now this dish is very very messy. I don't know how it is back in Malaysia. I guess it would be too because it's street food material right here. Just like what my Malaysian friend said, the star is definitely the patty and the egg. That is just a beautiful combination. As soon as you bite that beef, oh my dear lord so soft. This is like an introduction to what the real thing would be like. Yeah, definitely gonna get that when I'm in Malaysia. It's just a perfect combination here. The milk bun is soft. It just goes right through. You got a tomato freshness and cucumber. I guess that's a healthier portion there. And then you got all that egg and patty. Oh man. But the, there is a lot of sauce. There is a lot of sauce. So very, very wet. 
The one unique thing about Ramway Burger is how the beef is inside the egg. It's kind of like an envelope. So when you open the envelope, ta-da! Surprise! This is one of the things that I really miss from Malaysia and Singapore, the kaya toast. And this place, Cafe Ruma, they actually make the jam by themselves and they sell it in a jar. And I can tell you they have the best kaya jam ever. That's why I'm getting this one. So it's very simple. It's actually just white bread. Make sure it's white bread toast with some butter and also the kaya jam there. So what is kaya? Kaya is like the coconut uh, flavor jam which normally eat it for breakfast and we have the soft boiled egg as well. Normally also you have it with like teh tarik or kopi o or kopi si but unfortunately they don't have it. It's okay. And I love how they are very generous. Look at this. Ah. Okay, can't wait to eat it. Mm. Oh. This is like super classic. The toast is crunchy and then they have the butter which is a bit savory. Then slap on that kaya jam which is like sweet coconutty flavor. Oh my god, I really miss this. This is like the best, the best, you know. Well, as much as I love avocado toast, I still prefer my kaya toast. It's still the best. And the good thing is that you have to dip it with some egg. So they give you two eggs. I already destroyed one of them, but let's just swirl on this. Buff this toast inside the egg. Look at that. Oh gosh. This is how you eat it. Mm. Mm. Perfect. You got the sweetness from the kaya toast and then some a bit of like savory but milky kind of flavor from the egg. It's just perfect. This is the ultimate breakfast. Looks absolutely terrible. <laughs> but you know, when you take a little bit of that bread and then you put it in oh man it's just delicious that's why they always said don't judge the book by its cover but by its taste okay so we are very very full right now we went to two spot we ate too much for breakfast yes we do eat too much guys we know that so i hope you enjoyed today's episode if you guys want to see more asian breakfast series or part two of today's adventure make sure to hit that like button subscribe so you get notified when we post our weekly food and travel adventure. And as always, we will see you guys next week. Ciao.